I just want to give a shout out this week to a wood turner out there by the name of Mike Walls. And he, Mike is on the YouTube now, a, a good good time now, a good long time. And he's a lot of videos out there and ball making, box making, you name it, sharpening, loads of stuff Mike has. And he's doing a, a range of videos at the moment for beginners. For uh, If you're starting off with wood turning, he has a lot of videos there now. He's doing tutorials on how to handle your spindle gouges, ball gouges, making boxes, balls. So check out his channel, I'm going to put a link down below here, just click on the link, it'll bring you over and subscribe to his channel and check out what he has to offer, he has a lot of videos there, okay. So uh, this week the project I'm going to do is this bowl here and I'm going to be using this bit, bit of wood, no, not this one here, it's the other end of it, it's on the lathe there, silver birch is the wood and this is what I'm going to be making. It's a bowl with four sides on the outside and one on top. I turned this one probably four or five years ago. I think I've seen it being done, I'm not sure, in a magazine, a wood turner there. I think it was an Australian wood turner I actually seen and I can't really find... There's a name for this and I can't find a name for it. But I'm just calling it a five-sided bowl, right? If any of you know the name, let me know, I forget. Anyway... I'm going to just take you through the process how I've done this one and on the lathe here and you'll see how it's made, okay? This is where I started out with a piece of wood like this and I think this is silver birch I was given it for what would have been three years or more and it was, uh, I had the log cut in half and sealed up and I just trimmed it up with a chainsaw. And it's not an old tree, it's pretty young, grown re pretty fast, the growth rings are pretty wide and it's pretty soft. And I actually trimmed it up and I have it in a cylinder. And this is what I'm going to be making with it anyway. <laughs> but anyway... I'm going to just go through a step at a time, there's no point in talking about it. I had it trued up yesterday and I left it in the lathe and it's had to go on a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to trew it back up again with a skew just to get a nice little finish on it. And I'll just go through it once more, give it a nice trim on the lathe here. You can actually see since last night it's gone off balance again. So wood is just so unpredictable now what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to mark divide this into four segments and I'm going to use the indexing system on my lathe. Let's divide this up. Let's do it quickly. I have a marked here for halfway. This is halfway. Just for a mark there, the next. Okay. So this is going to be basically each one of them is going to be the center of each one of these bolts. There, and this is going to be a tenant on the end there. And it there I can turn off. I'll be leaving that. I can put when I do these, I'll turn these out. I can put it back between centers, put the tenant on it, turn it around, turn off this bowl here, turn it back around, take the tenant off, and that'll be the job. It'll be finished. Okay, you can actually use them, do this, make a nice candle holder, a nice big candle holder, or it's just a nice little ornamental piece. Okay, I, I made this probably about four or five years ago. And I said I must get back to it. Look, there's a crack down in it. That was a little bit wet, that wood. 
the moisture in this I checked it last night was 14% that was last night on it I'll just take you through, through the jig that I have these two pieces here I had them on another face plate that I had made four years ago and the face plate I put it on the lathe there a while ago to try it and it was warped so this is me one that I have I took these off they were a bit warped so I straightened them up and got them nice and even I attached them onto this with nice big screws through the back drilled them in there on this side and I threw them up see the way they're nice and even and ran the belt sander over them and had them nice and even and what's going to happen is this piece is going to fit in there like so and that is going to be the center of me of me drive my tail stock will go up against that there I'll put a screw in down there, that'll be the middle and a screw down there, that'll be the middle and then when I have it in the middle I put another big screw in it, into it just to lock it to stop it from moving, there's the screws I'll be using and the same on the bottom, so there'll be four screws in it that's to stop it from twisting on me I'll turn this out to what I like to the depth that I like I'll make a little template with cardboard I'll turn the piece around onto the next one I'll turn it out put a bit of cardboard in until I get it the same move it on then to the next one turn that over and out put a bit of cardboard in it till I get it the same so on onto the next one and I'll do four of them then I'll take the piece out of the jig Put it back between centers, like so. Bring up my tailstock. Put a nice tenant on the end here. Put it in the chuck. Turn a nice bowl in the face of it here. If you like, you could put, turn a, a nice little recess there to put a large candle into it, or, or a bowl, or entirely up to you. Then turn it back around. Bring up the tailstock and turn the tenants off the end of it and that's your piece done okay I have my face plate my jig on the on the lathe my piece on the jig my screw is in both ends <clears throat> and I'm ready to start turning and I made up a little template to the depth that I want and I'm just basically going to start turning <clears throat> I turn one Turn it around two, three, and four. So I'll just go through them <clears throat> nice and quickly. Hopefully, I don't mess up. And to start off here nice and slow, take it up to a nice comfortable speed.
taking it down there now to my depth that I want. And the thing about this is you have to sand it there and finish it as you go. And then move on to the next one. So I'm just going to do that now, sand it, finish it. And then I'll move her on to the next one. And so, uh, just move the, the blank around again, undo on the screws, turn it around. And I'm going to do number two. And it's the same process again, just hollow it out to the template. And hope that I don't end up going into the one that I already made. So we'll just see how we go. Have me two rest, everything set up. So to start off nice and slow and take it from there. going to sand this up and finish it and I'll move it on to the next one so I've moved the blank on to number three this is bowl number three I'm going to be torn same again just torn it out use me template just to check it as I go start off So sand it and move on to the next one. Turn it around once more. This is the final one on the outside, number four. Just going to do the same again. Turn it and <clears throat> turn it down to suit my little template. Same again. Take it nice and easy. Start it off nice and slow and walk it. Right into the center. Those gentle cuts. Okay, time to sand that up, sand it up and finish it and I'll take you on to the next stage, okay. Now I have the piece on a small screw chuck here, because I put it between centers and it was wobbling so I just put it on a screw chuck to where the screw was 
on the jig and I just brought the tail stock up because I want to put a, a tenant on the end here so I can put her on the chuck to put a bowl in the in the in the top of it here okay so that's what I'm gonna do next and um, just put a tenant on here <laughs> That'll be the base. I don't know whether I'll make it a bit smaller, but I'll see what happens later. Now I'm just going to take that off now, put it on the chuck and put a bowl on the top. I have the piece in the chuck ready to turn off the last bowl on the top here. I did get a comment on Google Plus to put a bowl in the bottom, sir. If you put a bowl in the bottom, what's the point, sir? Like, what would you be doing with it? Um, who would be looking at it? <laughs> you know, I could put one in the bottom if you want, but like, what purpose is it going to do? Okay, so, start her off. She's off a bit wobbly, but. Not to worry. Just take a bit of shaving here in the middle. This is end grain here. So we we'll put cotton there now into the centre. Side where I'm not to do it, so I'll just paint it all over. I 
let that dry and I'll put it on this. I'll put it on the put it on, on the mop. Okay, we're at the next stage here. It's time to t remove the tenant off the base here. Uh, I've already put a waste block in the chuck and a bit of paper inside there just to protect the bowl in there. Brought up the tail stock and have it lined up. And I'm just going to turn that away there down into a little nib. Take it off the lathe and sand it uh, on the lathe then with a sander in the Jacob's chuck. Okay, so it's just going to turn her off here. Cut that off. I'm gonna sand that on the Jacob's truck there. Um, buff the whole lot up. I'll show you it. Show you that going on now. Okay, there we go. Here's the finished project. Here's the bottom. There's the top. That's a bit of bark inside the piece. There it is. Uh, five, four sides there and one on the top. Okay, please um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more videos if you haven't subscribed. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Bye now.